Am I getting baited by Natsumi? Is she really that green-haired girl, the witch girl? Oh my god, that design is fantastic. But I have a feeling, and I think it's already implied, it's pretty much definite, that that's not really her. She's got some other form. She takes on the shapes of anything. I think it's... So is it people or also inanimate object as well? Her power is so goofy. She just, like, makes everything cartoon-like. And even now, usually with spirits, we're, like, doing a battle to the death. But no, not this time. This is fucking Among Us. We're going Among Us right now. We gotta see who's sus. Who do you think it could be out of the 12 people? I think it's like choosing one out of 12 would be so random. Well, the twist would be something like it was never one of the 12 and she was something else, like an inanimate object. I don't really know. Let's begin today's reaction. London? DM! Oh, shit. But he's still the head of this entire place, right? He summoned the Dark Lord? Did so much work. This dude put in so much fucking work, kidnapped Toka, you know, summoned the Dark Lord, and what did he do? He's like, all right, let's get the fuck out of here. Come on. Like, what? What did you even gain from it? That is true. She did get inverted once, but she turned back. Oh. Ah, I doubt they're gonna be actual danger. Look, look, as fucked up as Kurumi was, right? No one died. Everyone was fine at the end. I mean, other than the people that was really shitty and like attacked the cat. Origami would be so good at this, but, you know, it's not origami right now. So we, this is an excuse to just go on multiple dates and, you know, sniff out the sus. Hmm. Let's see if Toka's being sus. Hey, she's wearing the outfit that she wore during the movie. That, that jacket. I remember that jacket. Ask her a special question that only she would know. The movie. Or I guess whenever that happened. Toka's voice sounds kind of different. Did I not realize the last episode? Did the voice actors change? Maybe it's just me. I don't know. Huh? No way is... No! I... Never mind. Never mind. I, th I thought we were bluffing. Okay, this is Toka. This is Toka. Unless, unless this is like a big brain play from Natsumi to act even more like Toka in this situation? No, but no. <laughs> Knowing Toka, she would probably believe him. <laughs> I don't know if he's good at lying or if it's just Toka, cause you know, she's a little... She's a little dense. Uh, oh. Oh. Damn, he spun that around really well. Hmm? Why would she be not excited about food? Something is sus. Yeah, she used to get super excited. What's going on here? Mm. Toka, is that really you? Should have planted some soy, soy flour bread here and see if she would go for that. Yeah, what's wrong? I thought you love eating. So little! And vegetable options? The fuck? That's not Toka! This is not to me. He's right, he's absolutely correct. No, 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 no. Something is super sus. I don't like this at all. But the stomach is growing. Maybe it's a different reason. I think she's hungry, but she's preventing eating? Why? Did a TV commercial tell you to go on a date? Uh, okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. I don't think that's true. No! No! Oh, she's starving herself! I, I don't know if Toka's actual appetite is healthy, but, but, hey, it's healthy for her. Alright, this is Toka. It's cleared. Cleared. Now, I don't know about the rules, but can Natsumi switch at any point in time? Is it fixed throughout the entire game? <laughs> the place got sold out because of Toka. Who's the next date? Yoshino and Yoshino. Oh, catch that phone. Nice one. 
Yoshinon, what's up with you? What is this outfit? Kind of looks like a Halloween outfit. I don't know. You're an idol? This is fun. Yeah, this is like a Halloween outfit. What's going on? But Natsumi also had like a Halloween outfit theme, right? <laughs> Stop being so adorable! But this is making me very suspicious because it's like Halloween theme, but it's also too obvious. So I don't think it's going to be Yoshino. I hope we get to see one of Yoshino's classic uh, reactions after eating good food where she goes like, Ooh, that shit's busting. Oh my. Show me a crazy reaction. I don't want just eye sparkles. There it is. <laughs> there it is. It's so adorable. That's right. When we first fed her. Was it Oyakudon? Mm. Yeah, that reaction was so good. Hmm? Oh, you want to feed it? <laughs> She's way too adorable. You can't deny the lolly. Come on now. Come on now. I want her to feed Yoshinon though. I want to see that Yoshinon can't eat. It's a fucking puppet. Where's the digestive system? Where's it gonna go? It's a puppet. Where's the food gonna go down? We gonna clean it up? Clean it up with Yoshin- Hey, hey. Yo? Would Yoshino would do that? Would Yoshino normally do that? She's acting pretty aggressive today. I mean, trick or treat. It was trick or treat, and she's all embarrassed. No, no, I think she's cleared. I think it's. I think it's cleared. Also, it'd be kind of hard to like imitate Yoshi known at the same time, right? Wait, <laughs> our best friend. <laughs> we didn't skip the date with Hiroto, right? No! Why did he skip it? It would have been so funny! Fuck! What did you do? They're really just gonna skip it, bro! That shit would have been so funny! Missed opportunity, man. Sorry, we were out with another guy. Are we only late five minutes? Is she acting any different though? Also, I just realized because we just skipped Hiroto, that makes it really sus. Cause I, we have no way of like you know analyzing if he's any different, right? Hmm? Oh, I don't think I've seen her get this aggressive. <laughs> Yuzuru and Kagwe really don't get enough screen time, and it's rare that they get like alone time with Shido, right? So I think this is warranted. This isn't the same spot. It's, you know, Toka and Shido's special spot, right? I don't think it is. Could you imagine if he brought Yuzuru there? Oh, uh, you're more beautiful. Sorry. No, this is what you say. Beautiful isn't a word that can describe your beauty, Yuzuru. Ooh. Am I good or what? Am I good or... I thought he'd say something what I just said. No. I mean, yes. Honestly, I, I originally like Yuzuru more in season two, but that movie, something about the the brash like Kaguya being so like shy about messing up her date and being like sorry, something about that made me sway toward Kaguya a little bit more. Was it just me? Knowing their sister relationship, you wanted to choose Kaguya. Exactly. But if we say Kaguya, won't she get upset? All right, Kaguya then. <laughs> but you said you'd be angry, but I get it, right? That's their whole deal of like always trying to support the other sister. All right, bitch, I'm gonna say neither then. You guys might as well be one. I'm still waiting for the moment where Kaguya and Yuzuru becomes one as Yamai. No, say more, baby, come on. Aww. So do you. Oh. Well, what about you, though? She is so sweet, too. But recently, it, I think it was just a movie that made me like Kaguya just a bit more. 
She ran away. Okay, first of all, she's a fucking spirit. I'm sure she can take care of herself, even if she's nerfed. Still pissed, man. They skipped Hiroto's date. The thing about Tonomachi is that we didn't get to see the date, so we have no way to answer. All the girls seem bait, like very normal. Why? It's called tomorrow date, maybe? She wants him to be well rested for that? Who is it? There it is. That's why she wants him to go to bed. Of course it is! Yeah, yeah. I wonder if she'll switch to white ribbon in Kotori. Because the picture did have white ribbon specifically. Go on a date with Shido. <laughs> oh, look at you smiling and blushing. Come on now. She must have an idea what happened. But Kagura Lair looks pretty normal too. Hmm? Not to me. Oh, right. Wait, but you didn't give us a timeline. It's already over? That's one gone? <laughs> Meaning the person she was... Of all the 12, uh, of the 12, there's only 11 remaining. Every night, someone disappears. Meaning, the target will also switch of the remaining 11, right? Yuzuru's gone? Yuzuru was Natsumi? Natsumi? What? But doesn't she look so, like, normal? Everything about her was so on brand. Of her wanting Kaguya the most. Like, just like always pushing Kaguya in the spotlight instead of herself. How does that make sense? But, am I, maybe I'm misunderstanding, but I think Yuzuru, Yuzuru was Natsumi. Natsumi did an amazing job. Every night, someone disappears. And now, of the 11, the target has switched once more? No, I'm wrong. So, it was... No, no, no. It wasn't Yuzuru. Yuzuru was perfectly normal. But the fact that... He couldn't guess who the target was. Natsumi will randomly take one of them out. I think that's what's going on. Hey, why are you doing this? You're taking this so seriously. We didn't do anything. She thinks that we saw her true form, but that's not even the case. Quickly, we must go on more dates. <laughs> it's so serious. Looks like all of them are disappearing one by one. Whoa. There's only three left at the end. I'm a bit confused in the rule set. So basically, Natsumi is one of the 12. And my guess was it was Yuzuru. And because he couldn't guess it was Yuzuru, now Yuzuru is gone. But that doesn't really make sense because Yuzuru did go on a date. She was talking to Kaguya and she was so happy about it. So then I thought, okay, Natsumi was actually one of the 12. That wasn't Yuzuru. But Shido still couldn't figure it out in the first date. Therefore, Natsumi took out one random person and that was Yuzuru. I think that that's what's going on. Of everybody we met, Hiroto... Like, we didn't get to see the date, and I think they skipped it because obviously, I mean, they got limited anime time. They don't want to spend too much time on this Joe character. It's not a Joe character, but you want to spend time showing the different girls, right? So either they did a decision to skip him like that, but it just feels very sus because we couldn't really see any. Who could one in the 12 be? So far, I got no clue, but at the end there, I think, like, the, the pictures are all fading away, but we saw three people still that was fine, I think, right? So I think it was like, um, Kotori was still there. Um, Kaguya's there, Miku, and like, uh, who else? Yeah, that, that was the three. Kotori, Kaguya, and Miku. Oh, and the gross girl, me. I don't really know what's going on. It's a very interesting, like, a uh, uh, different way of doing data live, though. Because instead of just, like, fighting, fighting, a little bit of Among Us, it's kind of refreshing. And I hear, like, the second half of Season 3 is where the good shit's at. But hey, if you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for even more content. And until next time, take care.